Wingapo. <laughs> I remember that from uh, from Pocahontas. My daughter watched it so much when she was a kid that I just never forgot that. I don't know if anybody else watched Pocahontas or not, but that was the language for hello and goodbye, kind of like uh, Hawaii does it. Aloha means good, hello, and goodbye. Well, in Pocahontas, Wingapo means hello, hello, goodbye as well. So that's where that came from. But anyway, um, yesterday I was filming and I was supposed to come back and I never ever did because I just, I got so dizzy after making lunch I couldn't even eat and I ended up spending um, the rest of the day and evening and all day today basically in bed. Um, my doctor put me on this new medication and it's really messing with my head. I think it's making me forgetful or something. <laughs> or maybe that's just me and age, I guess. I don't know. But it's been, it's been really tough. It's been tough the last, the last week, the last two weeks, I guess. So anybody who suffers from a chronic pain, you know, when you get a flare up, it's not, it's not good. It can last a long time. So, um, yeah. So, anyway. The new pill, I think, is making me feel sick and dizzy until I get adjusted to it, but, yeah, I don't know. It's not really helping the, the whole sciatica thing. But anyway, huh? um, the only reason why I jumped back on here um, today is because every time I send my son, or every time he volunteers, I should say, um, to go and get the mail, he always brings me back a, uh, he always brings me back an Amazon box. So, I wish that worked for every time he came, but, you know. It was really good because I ordered this on Saturday. Today is now Tuesday. So, it, which means, I mean, they sent me, when they sent me the notification, they said it wouldn't be here until Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So, I think that's really quick. Unless it was just down the road. Okay. We're back to summer. We had one day of nice weather, as far as I'm concerned. Now we're back to, you know. Okay, I just gotta give up because there's nothing I can do with this. Except for tie it back. Because it's like all fuzzy and I think it's making me hot. <laughs> I hate being hot. I hate the heat. Oh, I just, I, I hate the whole heat. So, anyway, enough about my problems. How are you? <laughs> I'd like to know. Comment below. <laughs> how you're doing today. Um, <clears throat> so, no matter how sick you are, you can still crochet. Because, you know, you can lay flat and still crochet. So, the... That new yarn from Michael's that I got last night, I had to try right away to see if it would make like an animal print. So I ended up making this. Okay. It's a, I don't know. It might fit some, maybe an adult with a small head. My husband has a small head. I don't know. It doesn't seem to want to fit with me. <laughs> I guess you could if you wanted to. Oh, look at that flying. It. It's flying. It got wings. You could make it like almost like a little whatever, but. I hate hats. Hats don't look good on me. I don't care what anybody says. I just don't like hats on me. Okay, so I ended up and I made, I forgot to show this one. I made, it was a little bit of, little bit of leftovers that I had from that baby Burnett Velvet, I think it's called. Velvet, so it's like really, really soft. I ended up buying it and I made a sweater for myself. And it's so nice when you put it on. It's like you're, you're wrapped in silk. The other favorite uh, really soft yarn that I really like is I Can't Believe It's Butter. Well, I don't think that's the name. It's, that, that's what I call it. I Can't Believe It's Butter, yeah. But um, it's not. I think it's, it, it's like butter, uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm probably wrong. I'm wrong a lot lately. But I did finish my little Miss Curly Q. I still haven't. i got to tuck a couple of little tails off her yet. But she's done. She has a bottom, so her cups ain't hanging out no more. And I did put a bell. I put two, actually. I don't know if you can hear that or not. I got my fan going, so I hope that doesn't pick up onto it. Because it's, like, really hot. I'm extremely dizzy. It's really starting to irritate. I find if I close one eye like a pirate, it doesn't seem to be too bad. But anyway, this is Susie Q. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her for homeschool. So anybody who has possession of Curly Q has the floor. So if they want to talk, they're going to have to hold Susie Q. Okay. <coughs> I just ate some of my hair. That was gross. <laughs> and this is what I'm working on right now. That's just another kid's hat out of some scrap yarns that I have. That I had. 
I also wanted to show, recently I made, it was really recent too, because I, I got this yarn for my birthday from my mom. I made, it was a, it was a granny square top. It actually turned out pretty good for a granny square. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. Um, it was made with uh, Mary Maxson yarn. So, which is pretty close to like um, the Red Heart Unforgiv un Unforgivable, Unforgettable. Oh, man, me and my words lately. I don't know. If anybody can understand my videos, you gotta like and subscribe because like you get a whole new special unicorn talent. Because that's what, you know, that's what we call unicorn. If you have something that happens to you that just defies luck or something really insane, like me, I'm a type 2 diabetic, so I have to watch what I have to eat, but then I got gastroparesis, which means that I can't digest what I eat anyway. So it, that's a unicorn effect. Um, <laughs> so it's really, really bad. Um, I had gotten um, this pattern off of uh, offline. Um, and I, it was supposed to be for an open cardigan, so I just adapted it. So that's the wonderful thing about yarn. You can adapt it so it made it like a pullover. So I think I'll probably end up using this pattern probably for a lot of my sweaters and stuff just because I find it so easy and kind of versatile. Like, I mean, you can leave it that it's open in the front, you put a zipper in it, you can put buttons, or you can just make it solid so that it just slips over your head. And I did make one a long time ago, and I even put a hood on it. But this year I'd like to make one with a hood um, that is closed and make the make the sleeves really long so you can have a little opening to put your thumb through so it turns it into almost like a wrist warmer as well because it does get cold. Not today. I was so happy yesterday. It was finally cooling off and I overdid it and I did it too soon. I was like, hallelujah. You know, summer's finally going away and my favorite season's going to kick in. Guess what? It didn't happen. But anyway, so this is, I'm going to show you here what I ordered off of Amazon. Not yarn, but yarn related, okay? Because that's, you know, where our whole life has got to be about. It's got to be, you know, yarn and yarn related. I got a on my face. Okay. So, let's see. Now, I was supposed to get this on Thursday. I probably already mentioned this. I don't know. I say so many things. I can't remember what I'm saying that one. Anyway, this was supposed to come on Thursday this week, and it's Tuesday, and it already came, which is really surprising because that was, like, really quick. I ordered it on Saturday, like, afternoon late. So what I did was is I ordered fluff. Everybody knows about fluff. So because I just, I want to make a couple of um, like, um, crochet little stuffed animals and stuff. And um, a couple of neck pillows. They're awesome. I like neck pillows. So I'm going to make a few of those. I'm hoping that that's enough. If not, I'll just order some more. But the other thing that I ordered was eyeballs. Now, the really funny thing is my mother had texted me and said I just got back from running my errands and I was able to get this pill on for her husband that was on sale. She had asked the pharmacist for it anyway and and um so I said okay well I'm just I'm up I'm trying to drag my butt around I'm running around trying to you know find deodorant because I want to film because my Amazon order I finally I actually I didn't say Amazon I said my eyes came in the mail. So she writes me back and she says, what eyes? Like, I don't understand. What eyes are you talking about? What eyes did you get? <laughs> I don't know. Which, where is she shopping? But anyway, but at the time I guess it was funny, but it didn't really, it doesn't seem funny now. Maybe it's because I'm getting a back spasm. I don't know. Um, I'm also just been trying really hard here to uh, get ready for homeschooling. So um, our official homeschooling date is going to be August 25th. We're starting a little bit earlier, you know, than Canadian, most Canadians, just because they want to be able to end earlier. So we'll probably end the beginning, end June of 2021. So, so these are my eyeballs. I ordered it. And this is a really good price. I don't think I only paid, it was like eleven ninety nine for it. It's supposed to have 360 some pieces for making, for anything, their safety thingies. And these are so cute. Look, this is a nose. I don't know. Can you see it? <laughs> okay. And we got a little brown one. Can you see? I don't know what they do. 
how they do that. I'm just blocking the camera for myself. I can't see nothing. So then you got like a little oval black nose I see here. And then a little triangle looking nose too. Uh, let's see here. What else do we get? Oh man, oh, my back. Oh. So there's different shapes of eyeballs. They come in black and there's like big and small, medium. So this is the smallest plain black eyeball I got and this is the biggest. So I mean that would be for that um, and I'm going to say it wrong and every time I talk to my mother she corrects me but for whatever reason I cannot get it stuck in my head. But it's Amma, Amma Gori. I don't know. I can never say it right. Just wait now. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, man. That's hard stuff. Okay. This stuff. My red heart. I can never say it right. It just says one on it. Am, am, amigurium? I don't know. But anyway, this is a big bird one. Not a big bird. Oh my god. What is wrong with me lately? I can't get anything right. Because I, I called the shower cap yesterday a shower curtain and, you know, and acted like, well, yeah, I got it right. I finally remembered it was called a shower curtain, but it's not. It's a shower cap. Okay. So, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so these are angry birds. Not big birds, angry birds. Okay. And anyway, so you'd be able to make that stuff with the little tiny eyeballs. And then, of course, you have all the backings for your safety stuff so they don't come off. I don't know how that works. Oh, I guess so, yeah. That's like a little locking the mechanism. And they come in different colors. There's like a, like a taupe color, white, uh, and a brown. Oh, and there's even like a little package of clear. So that's kind of nifty. And then they have all these little different colored eyeballs, which are really cool. That was the reason I went with this kit instead of another one, because I really wanted the color eyeballs, because I just dropped one on the floor. Mother trucker. Okay, so... <laughs> So yeah, so you get red and brown. You got to find that too now. And then there's like a clear with a black, which is super cute. And they have got a blue one. I like blue eyes. That would look really good if you made like a husky dog, stuffed husky dog. And then the the green one kind of reminds me of like either a snake or a lizard. All right, enough of that crap. Because I'm cracking up. And I gotta find that thing. I don't know if I'll ever be able to find it. Probably not. You know when I'll find it? When I walk on it. <clears throat> That's when I'll find that. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, mm. All right, I found it. It was brown. <laughs> get that in there. It gets brown, brown. Oh. All right. So, my mom had ordered a couple of months ago, she ordered these little wooden tags. No, not wooden, they were leather. Or are they wood? I don't know, I can't remember now. Something wrong with my brain. It's not functioning properly. Um, she ordered these little signs that you can sew in. They say homemade on, onto them. Um, they really give your finished product a more of a professional look, I find. So, they're like little scraps of uh, either wood or um, embroidered uh, leather. And they're just like a button. You just sort of sew it like on the corner of a hat, like down around the bottom or even on your sweater or anything. It just gives your finish crocheted pack pattern this like really nice finished look to it. So, but yeah. So we're going to swap. We're going to trade some eyeballs for some tags, which is kind of cool. But anyway, I think that's it for now. So I might do a homeschooling video next, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying really hard here. I've never homeschooled before. This book, it doesn't seem like it wants to close. But it is closed. It comes with this little nifty case, which is really cool. But they don't have a case for these. Ugh. I can see me losing all of these and having these. And, you know, so I'm going to have to find a container. Oh, and I know exactly what I can use. But I don't know where to go. that. Right there. In my eyes, look at that. Something wrong with me. This here is a con uh, a tic tac hole uh, container. Um, my teenager he loves little tic tacs, and we've been getting the big ones. It's like this here one, I think it was Coca Cola tic tac, Coca Cola flavored tic tacs. So, um, when he was done them, he was gonna throw it in the recycling bin, and I snatched it out because what I was gonna use it for was for putting all of my darning needles in. Hmm. 
because for some godly unknown reason, every time I lose my needles. Now, I went through my yarn hair stuff. Yesterday I had six. Now I have two. See what I mean? But anyway, I'm thinking that's what I'll do with these. I'll put them in this little bucket and that way I'll, that will, that will, I'll, cut, down a lot. I'll cut down on the chance of losing them. But anyway, all right, I'm off to see a man about a horse. Actually, I'm going to go put my hair in like the tightest bun I can possibly get it, get it off my neck because I just can't stand it anymore. So, but anyway, um, if you could subscribe to the Crazy Unicorn, that would be fabulous. You can join my herd. Want to be a part of the Crazy Unicorn herd? Well, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. You can also find me on Instagram. You can follow. I post uh, pictures almost daily and whatnot, so as projects as I'm doing them, and um, hopefully we'll see you again. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye for now.